My name is Joey Accardo. I'm the technical manager for Epirox surface and exploration drilling in the U.S. In this segment, we're going to go over how to set the M-stops on the SmartRock T40 and SmartRock T35. The first step in setting the M-stops is to log in at the SE level. Once at SE, we navigate to the length screen. And from here, we put the machine into the correct positions as is indicated on the screen. One thing that we want to keep in mind is, is that it's very important that the length sensor be calibrated properly prior to setting the M-stops. In this case, we're already at the M1 position, but I'm going to check it anyway. After putting the rock drill in the correct position, we navigate to the M-stop that we're desired to change, in this case, M1, and then go to the position and the teach button. After doing that, the stop has been taught. Now to set M2. M2 is the position at which the centralizer will open to prevent a collision with the centralizer jaws. We don't want it to be set too high. If it's set too high and opens prematurely, this can cause the hole to wander. Conversely, if it's set too low, we risk collision, especially in softer materials. In this case, I've set it to the position that I like, and I'm going to go ahead and push the teach button. The M3 setting is the point at which the rock drill will slow down when rapid feeding forward to come down into the coupling. It's important that this isn't set too far as that can cause excessive threading length, and it's also important that it's not set too close as this could cause a collision. I've set it to a position that I like, and now I'm going to press the teach button. M4 is the position at which a rod is added from the carousel and threaded in to the M1 position. In this case, I've put it in that position and will now teach. The M5 position is the point at which the rod is ready to be transferred into the carousel, but the upper coupling is still threaded in. In this case, I've put it in that position and I'm going to teach it in. M6 is set as the position at which the rock drill is above the carousel and where rods can be transferred from the carousel to drill center. I like to set this immediately after M5 because that's the M6 position to begin with. And as always, if you need further assistance, reach out to your Epiroc service center or dealer.